check out the shower. Tiles going on the walls. Now we're going to bring it out this far past the curb so that we match the length of this pony wall here. And we got tile coming right up to the back of the niche. Good morning, guys. Progress is going fast. We'll have uh, probably two more days of this project and then the shower will be complete. We're going to cap the pony wall with our quartz. We're going to cap the curb with the quartz as well as the sill here. So we've got a lot of work today, guys, so we're going to get to it and uh, finalize the tile work in the shower so that we can grout tomorrow. cutting all of the sills, the cap for the pony wall, the cap for the curb, as well as the niche sill using our quartz here. Quick little trick, half inch foam board. If you have this length to make the cut super simple, and then you use a square to make sure you square it off. Basically, we need to cut off this beveled edge here. Let's go. All right, guys, installing the niche. We have a very small overhang, nice beige quartz. Goes well with the cap here for the pony wall. And it goes very well with our mini River Rock shower pan. We'll show you all that soon. guys this is the last day the final day we complete this shower grout trim kit super simple collect our final payment and uh, move on to the next project here it is pony wall needs to be uh, simply sanded down our client will be painting on his own everything is protected we're going to prep everything grout today <laughs> All right, guys, we're all done here. Let's check out the shower. It is big, it is beautiful. It is a big difference than what it was before we started this project. So here it is, 48 inches by 48 inches. Massive difference between this and what was here before. We had a small 32 inch by 32 inch. We blew out this wall. Installed a new pony wall, capped it out with quartz. It is the same height as the niche. So this and this are the same height. Cap the niche out with quartz as well. Let's first start with the field wall tile. 12 by 24 rectified porcelain. They wanted an earthy look. Beiges, some browns. That's what they have as far as interior design inside their home. So beautiful, clean looking shower. 
installed at a 50% offset, folds at the bottom, folds at the top. New valve and trim kit, of course, raise the shower head. Let's take a quick look at this niche, super duper clean, mitered at these two top corners. Schluter Jolly was installed. We have a nice glass mosaic that complements the colors. Colors match with this and the sill. You have some light colors that match the shower pan as well. Again, full tiles ending up at the bottom of the niche. Really clean having these three pieces of quartz. Quartz on the sill, quartz on the cap for the pony wall, and on the small three by three curve. Now keep in mind, this is a Schluter shower, curdy board on the walls, Schluter tray, drain kit, curb, everything in Schluter, 100% waterproof. Take a look at the pan, mini, River Rock cut flat, super clean. Again, the River Rock ties in with all of the other colors. River Rock ties in with the wall tile, ties in with the uh, glass mosaic, ties in with the quartz as well. And we have our beautiful removable Schluter stainless steel drain grate. Beautiful shower guys, very large. We have our guys coming in next week to install the custom frameless glass enclosure, panel, door, and then dog leg panel right here as well. Other than that, guys, this thing turned out gorgeous. Tell me what your thoughts are. Um, if you wanna see future videos, as per usual, subscribe, tap the bell notification, and smash the like button. I'll see you guys in the next one.